The other day we brought down like a six inch yellow birch um, for inventory for the shop. And yeah, for the most part we hate to hate to be wasteful. You know? So we're gonna a couple of days later I'm coming back for some tops. We're gonna make some birch twig tea. Looks like it came a couple of days ago <laughs> before all the Just walk down the creek. Yeah, uh, yeah, you have that issue, but you know it's a I know. Snowshoes. You got them on. <laughs> right, and that'll be makings for our birch bark or birch twig tea. Alright, so we're making birch twig tea. And it tastes like what? Wintergreen. <laughs> Good a thump. It's good for anti inflammatory. And it's just good. It's just good. So, pretty much just like it sounds. Made from. This is yellow birch. Things I've read, they say, you know. Black birch is a good, good, uh, a good birch to use. Probably the preferred birch, but yellow birch is really good also. Same type of thing. Things we've read is with the the branches to um, some people say to peel the branch, the bark off the branch. Others don't say anything. We don't peel the bark off the branch. I'm cleaning off the new buds and stuff. There, the, there are. Can you point just. There's some new yeah, buds just here. And flip them just, off. Yep, yeah, just flipping them off. Kind of wiping the, wiping the branch a little bit. And then we rinse the branches before we put them in the jar. Yeah, and we want to cut them. Yeah, whatever jar you're using. Right. We're, we're using a quart jar, so it's going to be something like. Six to eight inches. Yeah. Okay, so for the um, birch branch tea, we just warm our jars up, let them sit up on the warming oven. Excuse me, all that, we're in the winter here, and of course doing the, the branch tea, we've got to bring the branches in to let them warm up. Um, and then you can cut them before, or you can cut them after. He just for some reason brings the branches in and lets them warm up and takes them back out and debuds them and cuts them to size. So let's see, when you gather herbs before you put, you know, process your herbs, however you're going to do it, the old saying is, is you rinse them off in case the dog beats you to them. In this case, when making branch tea, just simply rinse them off in case the birds beat you to them or red squirrels or whatever. And it's not a manner of anything major, just simply rinse them in water and then that's it. Okay, so you pack your jar as tight as you can. Typically, we would use wide mouth, but I'm out of available wide mouth, so we're using a narrow mouth, which means the branches had to be cut a little bit shorter um, to get them all the way in. Uh, the other thing is, is you want to make sure your water's hot enough. Um, 
you don't want it boiling because then you um, boil the flavor over. Well, the flavor and some of the properties. But yes. if you don't have it hot enough, then you don't extract enough of the flavor and the positive properties that are anti-inflammatory fighting. Um, so you kind of have to just, you know, play with it and, and learn what that right temperature is by um, the color of the, ac of the extract. Um, So you pour it over, you let it set for how long? Overnight. Overnight. Yep, let it set overnight. On the counter? Yep. Okay, and we have... Pretty much stuffed full. We have iced it, or put it in the ice box. And, yeah. Um, yep. Josiah really likes it cold. If you warm it back up for a warm tea, do not warm it up so that it's tea hot or coffee hot. The wintergreen fragrance after this has set is going to be really strong but it's not the taste is not nearly as strong as winter green as the smell it's I not like not like the winter green certs and right. stuff but. Right. Um, which i was never a big fan of those winter green certs so when ron wanted to start making this i was apprehensive and thought oh i won't like it but it's actually a very soothing flavor um, it's, a, it's a soothing drink when you drink it it's you you do you feel soothed and just kind of calm mm-hmm and that's all there is to it. I'll put, I don't have any um, photos. If I do this this video before this is done, um, I don't have any footage of it being done. But I do have photos because I was going to do a blog post on it. So I'll, I'll throw some photos up here to show the, the color of it. The, uh, what they say, what do they say? Bring, the, bring your water up to a boil. Mm -hmm. um, then basically take it off the stove for... You know, 10 15 minutes, let it cool down okay. before you pour it over. Yeah. Yep. So. And, and that's pretty much it. Cool deal.